Hello and welcome back to more Storybook Brawl. We are going to take Mask. I love this character. It, it's like all the best things of all the other characters, right? Because you get, well, not all the best things. Because a lot of the good characters are like strong on level 2. The Mask doesn't give you any benefit until level 3. But at level 3, he's so strong because you switch into like the best early game character, like a Vela or whatever. And then you switch into a late game character later on or the mid game character like it's just so sweet to go for that. We also queued at the same time as someone in my discord. So let's see if we got in the same game. Oh, we did not. That's unfortunate. That's fine, though. That's fine. Um, I think we're going to go like happy little tree and then lock for sugar and spice Sherwood sure shot. Turn one happy little tree can get pretty strong. It's going to become uh, a two four next turn, which is actually pretty good in the beginning and i think we're going to let's see they're playing as loki loki could definitely run through the uh, happy little tree but i think we're gonna then take the spell and the ranger and i'm just deciding whether i put the ranger oh no we attacked the wrong way i'm deciding whether i want to put the ranger in the back or not let's do this this um playing against geppetto so they're gonna have a bunch of like small creatures I feel like this is probably just good enough. Actually, no. Let's do this. So hopefully they did not get Black Cat and we get to attack first. Alright, well, we still win. And actually that worked out better having the Ranger in front because they would have killed my Happy Little Tree and I actually would have lost that fight otherwise. So I'm pretty okay with this. Uh, we could go with Baby Root to just make this thing absolutely enormous. Uh, we could also transform this into something else. But high toughness on like a random evil character, right? We're going to get like a kitty cut first. That's going to be like a 1-8. And that doesn't really matter too much. So I think what I'm going to do is... Buy Wizards Familiar and the Unicorn and then transform the Unicorn into that. Okay, that's not so bad. I'm going to put these up front because we want the Ranger to attack and we don't want our opponent to like snipe the creature before the Ranger attacks. Also, that 4-7 is huge. Okay, they go there. We... No! That's not the one we wanted to kill, but that's okay. That was about as bad as it could have gone, but that's fine. We hit level 3, we get to do mask stuff now. And double pigs. Get a new hero. Uh, I love Mad Catter. Mordred, the first time one of your characters dies each brawl, summon the highest attack character. Or pup the magic dragon, your characters with support give plus 2 plus 1. Uh, hmm. None of these are like great immediately. I guess Pan Shadow is probably the best like mid game hero we can go with so that we could just take like this kitty cut purse uh do i want to buy the gingerbread party i don't think so i think i'm gonna do that's right I, I cast a spell that's something to keep track of we're gonna go like pig and chicken actually let's just go double pig i think that's gonna make us fairly strong in the short term and then we can lock Something like this, maybe? Hopefully they do not have the... Wow, their squad is really strong. They have a 6-9 Humpty in the back? Uh-oh. They're going to get a bunch of pig gold. <laughs> that is not where we want to be. Uh, yeah, they're going to get a ton of pig gold. And a Polywoggle Slay? Wow. They really filled out their Fallen Angel comp. That's an extra 4 gold for them. <laughs> Whoops. Um, okay. So let's buy the kitty cut purse. I can speculate on the lonely prince. I think that's okay because we find a princess here. We're in business. We don't. Um, okay. This is not a princess right now. This is a mage, not a princess either. So many fake princesses over here. Let's roll again. We can give our tree even more health. Uh, this is not the best comp I've ever had. 
These are both princes. This is a princess. It's definitely not one we would like to buy, but it's something we could do. Oh, these pigs are going to give away so much gold, but they're really big. Like, if we face someone who's not, like, crazy strong, then these pigs, they're just their base stats should be enough to help us scale a little bit. Um, we're really looking for something like a Darkwood Creeper, though, to start buffing up this. Ooh, that was nice. How did they triple the happy little tree? <laughs> oh, we're so dead. Oh, man. And that attacked their big thing. Yeah, we're so dead. Enjoy your gold. <laughs> All right. Aladdin's lamp. Or Genie's wish. Gingerbread party definitely helps. Um, we can take Princess Peep. Because that flips the frog. Okay, I like where we're going so far. Uh, Princess White is interesting. That could be a good pivot. I mean, she's pretty big right now. I don't have any dwarfs, but... I feel like this is probably the pivot we're looking for here. We take Princess White... And we want to get lucky somehow, so I think we're going to sell the kitty cut purse and this guy. Then we run lucky, princess white, and we're going to run princess peep instead of one of these pigs. Okay, we can start like this. This, this is how we make the comeback happen. We are fighting against Gwen though. If they have an upgraded princess white, I don't want to be so sad. Okay, ooh, upgraded dark, oh man. Their comp is basically what I wanted my comp to turn into, but I didn't see any of these units. Yeah, we're super in trouble. We're also giving them so much attack here. Yeah, this is just unfortunate, like, how it ended up, because we just didn't see. <laughs> upgraded Heartwood Elder at level 3 is insane. That's a really strong Gwen. So, a little bit problematic. We're looking mostly for dwarfs. Yeah, I guess we'll do this. Fanny, doubly. Do I want another Fanny? She's like pretty bad. Like, I'm at level, I'm at five health. I don't know how I've been losing so quickly, but I have been. Um, I could do that. Farmer's Fanny is just like a pretty bad unit. I don't even know if a 214 is even like good because I don't have any way to boost the attack. I'm just going to roll. All right, another doubly is probably better. So let's sell the pig and Princess Peep for this doubly. And I can put this here. Then we have a 6-6, six, six, a 3-3. Three, three. I'd like to get rid of this pig. So I guess the 5-5 five, five is just a bit stronger there. It's not the most amazing squad ever. I guess I'll... Med Mim is interesting too. That might be better than the frog. No, I, I think it's fine as it is. We're going to probably switch off of Pan Shadow next turn because we're trying to go dwarves and Pan Shadow doesn't really help with dwarves. We don't care about buying evil characters. I think this is like our one shot at winning this. <laughs> Okay, well, oh, that killed that. Oh my gosh. They really do not want us to win this game. That goes there and then the, well, we die exactly. Yeah, <laughs> that was one of my fastest deaths of all time. Really bad start, but it's okay because we could just play another game. <laughs> Negative 69 points. Basically the perfect game of Storybook Brawl. See, here we go. We can take Super Pan. Everything's fine. We'll just pretend that game never happened. I think that was legitimately the fastest I've ever died in a game of Storybook Brawl. And I know people are going to say, like, it's because you gave all your opponents, like, gold off the pigs or whatever. But I didn't even really repeat fight anyone. I just, like, straight died. Well, starting out a pan run with Wizards Familiar is not terrible. Um, if I had a character I could cast Shard of the Ice Queen on, I would, but... I don't, so I'm not going to lock or anything. And we're just going to accept that we probably lose this fight and then 
can maybe make up for it. Oh, <laughs> there we go. There we go. This is the comeback. Ooh, um, the donkey's so good early, but I think I can be a little bit greedy here. Ooh, I tried to like drag down the locks. We're going to cast this spell so we can start Cinder LAing. And then honestly, I might just lock for the donkey because it's so good early. But you know what? I don't want this tiny. Let's just see what happens. Also, we're like super likely to win this because of how insane Earthquake is. Unless someone specifically has like a Humpty Dumpty or honestly, Avella. Yeah, Avella will beat this. She's such a messed up character. At least in the early game. Ooh, there's a pig, but I think we are more interested in taking Shadow Assassin and then casting our spell. And we're going to have Shadow Assassin go first here. Uh, I don't really want to lock for any of these. We're looking for triples and then like slay characters like Brave Princess or something like that. Um, just so, because really with Peter Pan or Super Pan, your whole quest, your whole goal is to hit triples of level threes. And that's... That's what we're aiming for, but we're also trying to cast as many spells as possible to buff up Wizards Familiar and hit Cinderella treasures and things like that too. So by getting an evil monster, that gives us like a bunch of targets for spells. Um, and then you need also something that incrementally grows. So if we get any slay character, then we can start going off with evil monster. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> what a squad that is. Okay. Yeah, Pop the Magic Dragon's pretty big. Ooh, there we go, there we go. So we get to go Darkwood Creeper. And I guess I'm going to take Crafty, actually, because I am going to get a treasure relatively soon. So I could see Crafty getting pretty big. And then we're going to do damage to everything, keeping Darkwood Creeper in the back. And then Shadow Assassin takes one damage to detect for three ranged. I guess I switched these. And, you know, we're getting stronger. We are fighting against the top ranked players, Mrs. Claus, and there was... The Pup the Magic Dragon is not top ranked and they were ridiculously strong. No, we gave them attack boosts. Oh, that was so bad. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we are... <laughs> we are not having luck today. That is for sure. Like, I feel like our comp... Like, we're doing reasonable things here. Uh, Mad Mim feels alright to go alongside this hat um, we do want to cast a spell here and there is the perfect one um, I'm actually going to lock for the double evil queen needle nose daggers secret stash shepherd's sling I feel like shepherd's sling is what I want with Peter Pan that actually seems very good um, so now we have crafty getting buffed up uh, things have more toughness and then we're going to lock for two queen of hearts to go with like black cat med mim and things like that so we're getting reasonably strong now, so hopefully we stop losing fights. And we're playing against Miri, who have not tripled anything, so that's pretty exciting. Ah, if we had hit the, the white stag, I feel like this would be so much better for us. But I feel like we're still okay. They hit a character who got stronger, didn't die. Mad Mim finishes the deal and gets an extra attack. Love to see it. Peter Pan's coming around. Oh my gosh, this is nice. We get to go Queen Queen spell. And the thing is, do I actually want I mean Queen? If one character dies, she becomes a 5-6. And I feel like that's pretty good. 8-6 versus 5-6. If two character dies, yeah, she's just going to be better. I'm just going to put this Darkwood Creeper up here, because it dying is going to buff my queen. 8-6 um, versus 9-7, obviously. 8-6 is worse. So I guess this is the comp for now. And I guess since we have... I'm going to sell her. Because we haven't cast a spell yet. Oh, <laughs> exactly why i wanted to do it i was like there's got to be some way to take advantage of the spell that we haven't cast this turn so selling to try and roll into a zero cost especially when you're not locking the shop just makes sense to me oh we're playing against icarus i believe this person is a streamer 
And they have... Oh, <laughs> they got that streamer luck too. Unfortunate for us. But I think the giant queens should take it down, hopefully. Yeah. 14-14 the is so big. Um, they do have a lot of health, though, which we do not have. So that's a little bit unfortunate. There is a lot of cool stuff here. I think we... I mean, so Adventure, we could start going off with, with these Shadow Assassins. I think, I mean, we do this, we get the Chicken, get the Shadow Assassin, we get the Adventure, then we can roll. Oh, I like Vainpire a lot more, I think. It fits our objective. So let's put Vainpire here. And then... We could start running Shadow Assassins so they can grow. I guess I'm just going to put the Queen up there. Hmm. Something like this is tempting. We're going to be weaker short term, but stronger long term if we go like this. We're going to be stronger short term, obviously, if we play the Queen of Hearts. But I think growing our Shadow Assassins is in our best interest. And we are still reasonably strong. This queen is going to get a little bit of buff from the black cat. I do like the Darkwood Creeper, but I think I need like a couple more slays on the Vampire so it has enough tact. Oh, come on. <laughs> that is the second time. Actually, this is going to be the... This is like the exact same comp we just played against. What is happening? Uh, we're probably losing this, by the way. Oh, no. That went there and that went... <laughs> Oh, this is so bad. Okay. We take quite a bit of damage. Alright, I will take another Vampire. We just need to find a triple somewhere. There we go. Alright, tripling Shadow Assassin is good for a lot of reasons. It frees up bench space. We get Merlin's hat. You love to see it. Okay, so we get to put a queen here. Wish Upon a Star gives us XP, which I guess I sell for. Because we do want to cast a spell as well. So now we're doing okay. We want to switch these. Um, this is definitely something we can do. It's quite a bit worse with the Black Cat, but I guess Black Cat is mostly just there to buff our Queen of Hearts anyway at this point. And having more attack on these guys is good. Because they're very unlikely to get a Slay with 6 attack. So I think I need like 1 or 2 more Slays so they get stronger. Darkwood Creeper is pretty good though. Playing against Wonder Waddle. You know what, let's go for Max Greed. I believe, I believe we can do it. We have a 50% chance. Okay, well that one failed. We have a... Okay, we get one slay. You know what? We'll take it. I don't know how every single person in this lobby has transformed a brave princess, but it is what it is. No, not that one. Okay, we're getting a lot of pink gold, though. Ooh, I like Wizard's Familiar. I like Spellweaver. Tripling the Queen is excellent. I have Ares Treasure Map and Sting. Um, we don't necessarily want Treasure Map because like our whole objective is to hit level three treasures and get Merlin's hat. So I think I'm just gonna take Sting. Turn an evil character good and give it extra health. We can do that on the Queen, I guess. Then continue rolling. Uh, there's a doubly who can get big. But I think we roll. There is another Spellweaver. At this point, I think we're over Mad Men. So let's go Spellweaver. And... We could put it like here and... Could do something like this. 
So we have like slay slay. I could also just give up on this vein pyre. But I think I'm gonna try and have at least one more slay. And then this Queen of Hearts is gonna get big. The, sh the bigger Shadow Assassin, I guess I want to attack first. No, stop! <laughs> stop doing that. Okay, we get at least one slay. Vela's level 5, that's quite large. Attack there, that attacks that, that goes there. Uh, we lose this. We got pretty unlucky to lose this, but it happens. A one cost gingerbread party. I feel like that is probably something we're in for. Considering we don't currently have Merlin's hat. All right, tripling this is awesome. Or crystal ball. There we go. Um, at that point, I think we can get rid of. Sting. And I need to survive like one more fight because we're going to get strong very soon. Shepherd Sling is like pretty good. My whole team gets bigger. Yeah. We'll do that. Okay. So now we have this and this. Uh, tripling this would be pretty good too. Um, what is our next objective? So we don't have Sting, so the Vainfires are pretty bad. I guess another cat. That's probably where we want to be. And at that point, we can have this go first. Oh, let's just get a crafty in here. It's a really big crafty. We're just trying to win. So we have cats to buff our queen. We have some ranged stuff. They keep attacking <laughs> my first slot character. And it's getting frustrating. Okay, Neon. I'm a bit worried about this fight. They have a fairy godmother. But we do have this giant shadow assassin. Okay. That goes there. That kills that. We ranged there. No! <laughs> oh, man. We cannot catch a break. We hit... Hat ball though, so we just got to be fast. Um, we're going to make this into a good character. I don't want to cast Gingerbread Party, but I will take the... I don't even need the pair of threes anymore, do I? We're just trying to go off with Hat Ball. Crafty's big. I guess tripling Crafty wouldn't be the worst, but I, I just... I don't want that. Ooh, this is good. Um, what's an upgraded character? Honestly, let's get rid of the Queen. That's pretty bad, but it is what it is. I'll grab another spell weaver here. Uh, we can upgrade this to level five. Upgraded Cupid again, not necessarily where you want to be, but we'll take it, I guess. It's fairly big. Reroll. We can triple crafty, which will make us the strongest for this turn. I guess that's what I'm going to do. Get for gold. Do this. Roll. Oh man. Level 6 upgrade? Lordy! No! Oh boy. Uh, I want this and this in. Lordy! <laughs> what is this luck? We get upgraded Lordy. Unbelievable. Uh, we are going to win this fight, I think, though. Honestly, the Lordy with Crafty is kind of funny. Like, we do have some kind of synergy going on here. Alright, give an evil character stronger. Make this bigger. Not running Kidnap. Turn evil character good. Oh, yes. Transform this into an evil. Upgraded Doom Breath. Alright, you know what? Get in the front. You are ready to go. Get another one of these. Uh, do I want another Doom Breath or do I want to start running up another level 3 upgraded? Doom Breath feels good, but let's get super greedy and go for Storm King. Uh, honestly, that's pretty good too. 
I'll take that. Oni King is nice. Give it more attack. Um, keep rolling. Keep rolling. Gingerbread Party's okay, but we keep rolling. Last roll. All right. Um, I guess we're going to sell and just get Gingerbread Party. A 10-9 ranged... Honestly, I feel like I just want all my big dudes in the front and then all my rangers in the back. I mean, this Oni King is huge, but I only have one monster. I could sell for another Shadow Assassin, but then I'm giving up on the Spellweaver triple. So let's just hope that we attack first. Okay. Oh, we didn't kill it? No. <laughs> one damage short. That's... Probably going to be the death of us, right? That 42 kills that. Well, we'll see what this attacks. That doesn't die. We get to attack and survive. Okay, we do win. So that's definitely something. Uh, turn evil character good and give it extra health. Force. Turn a good character, sure, buff that. I don't want falling stars, because then we stop the thing. Ooh, tripling this is really good. Kip for gold. Uh, at this point, doubly does start getting big. Like, there's a lot of stuff we can do. But I think I'd rather just try and get as many spells as possible here. Okay, tripling that is also good. Anxious Sarcophagus, Bad Moon, Treasure Map. Let's just get some gold. I just need to cast spells now, basically. Buff that. Um, I could just take the triply, because it's just a 15-15. That's not even that big. Transform a good character into a random evil character. I like Oni King. Uh, so I think I'm just going to buy this. Transform this into a random evil level 3. Oh, perfect. And then sell the cat and roll. Cast this. Um, at this point... I guess I'm okay with just having a weak ranger up here. As long as we get to attack first. Okay, that goes there. This with 40 attack kills their Herc before it gets to proc. <laughs> They're nervous. I am also nervous. That goes there. That doesn't kill this. Oni King attacks and kills that and survives. Oh yeah, we got this in the bag. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh, they did pick my Oni King, but they still die here. Or not, they don't die. I think they get to keep... <laughs> Hit him with the exploding goat. We're still alive, that's what matters. Um, okay, I mean, we're gonna get this big, so let's start rolling. Buff up this thing. Don't want the trash can. Transform... Gotta get a good character I'm okay transforming, so let's do this. Buff up a good character. Ooh, Shadow Assassin is like exactly the thing we want. I think I might do something like this, actually. Another Shadow Assassin? I think I'm unlikely to get to triple it in time. So I think I'm just going to keep rolling and try and hit more spells. We'll see, though. Oh, stop with this. Uh, um, let's just roll past. Okay, okay. Now I can make this into a good character. And then make it evil? Uh, no, we're just gonna roll. Do this. 1914. Versus 1317 that gets plus 20 plus 20 when it attacks. I think the 1317 that gets plus 20 plus 20 is better. So, our squad is big. 
Um, we'll see what happens here. Oni King, oh, they have Doom Breath and they attacked first, but they didn't kill anything. But they have another Doom Breath. But they didn't kill anything. But we didn't kill the Doom Breath. <laughs> no. Well, they didn't kill anything. <laughs> okay. You're saying there's a chance. Oh, no. As long as we don't kill the mummy too soon, we have a chance. Oh, and that attacked the mummy. Oh, that was excellent. That goes there. That goes there. And then Oni King takes it down. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Hanging with the best of them. Okay. Keep rolling. Turn evil character good. You know what? You get extra goodness. Roll, roll, roll. Give an evil character extra stuff. I probably should have bought this first, but honestly, I don't really have space on my squad anymore. Oh my gosh. Tripling that. You know what? Right now it's an 1815, so it would get really big. I think I'm just going to keep rolling though. We're just ignoring it and going for big spells. I don't have a treant. Have one evil character. Now I have zero evil characters. <laughs> uh, I guess we keep rolling. Ooh. I guess I do it on this one. A puff puff is definitely something. The book, we buff that. I don't have any evil characters. Sell the puff buff, buy the cat, buff the cat. Cast this. Um, yeah, this seems about reasonable. The crafty is really, really weak, but my ranged characters are strong. If I get to attack first, I think we're in pretty good shape. I do, I don't kill, but their, uh, good boy does not die either. Oh, this went pretty well, because now everything but good boy died in the front, and good boy buffs their back squad, but... Ah, oh, we attacked the wrong thing. I think we die here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what? Top three with Peter Pants in a relatively high-ranked lobby is not bad. Um, yeah, third place, getting some stuff. Pretty happy with this uh, build overall, <laughs> coming back from the early game. I think the weak points were crafty. I think if I had been playing a little bit better, um, switching or going for another upgraded version of these would have helped. And then maybe if I was trying to win the lobby, trying to aggressively turn the Oni King into like the Storm King or whatever, uh, maybe would have helped as well. Because I had a lot of True Love's Kisses that I was not casting here because I was scared of getting like other stuff. But actually, yeah, that made no sense because I could have hit Good Boy. I didn't realize my whole squad was good. Yeah, that was my biggest misplay, not trying to turn this into a better level six. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. If you made it this far into the video, you're clearly enjoying the content. So if you want to help support me being able to make more content, there's two ways to do it. The first is free and very easy. Just following me on Instagram. Uh, you get, you know, to see cool stuff like this cat made out of trees or this dog that's an island. Um, some very interesting or trippy videos like this one, which uh, <laughs> it's not for everybody. Um, the other one is just going to my store. Um, I sell art like the ones I've shown. Um, so there's a lot of cool stuff there. You can shop the collections and see things like this. I'm selling t-shirts. Uh, and I would really appreciate it. Thank you.